Welcome to another Red Raider Baseball Report. I'm Jerry Johnson. I'm joined by the mighty Joe Yeager. Mighty Joe, man, both of us were at games last week in that epic Super Regional Series against Big 12 ri rival Oklahoma State. And, man, that was really back and forth. You know, I, I was there Friday. The, the first game, Joe, uh, Mike and Dallas really put on a great performance. Red Raiders won 8-6. to six, Were able to hold off a pretty feisty Oklahoma State squad. But then Saturday, Oklahoma State came back, bombing away, man. Uh, you know, they chicks dig the long ball, and Oklahoma State and Tech both have a lot of long ball hitters. And then Sunday was really fascinating because of the wind. It was, you know, in the yeah. 60s and 20 plus mile per hour winds, Joe, in June in Lubbock, Texas, and West Texas. Uh, so it really created a, a unique atmosphere, I feel like, for postseason baseball, and balls were really carrying out. And no ball carried out, no bigger play in that game than Kurt Wilson's three run home run in the eighth inning that proved to be the game winner. It was truly a uh, monumental uh, experience to be there. But just overall from you, Joe, what was your takeaway from that just epic series? Well, I'll tell you, it was a little bit too close for comfort from for, for my standpoint. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, I predicted the tech was going to sweep. And to your credit, you said it was going to be a three game series. You were right. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you know, I got to hand it to Oklahoma State. They were tougher than I thought they were yeah. going to be, you know. Uh, and, uh, you know, we thought that maybe Texas Tech would have a major or at least a considerable psychological advantage for right. having swept those guys and when's the last time they beat Tech. And, you know, and then they hadn't played well too much on the road and right. they had to come out here and it all seemed to be lining up pretty well for Tech. Yeah. But, man. It was a struggle, a uh, white knuckle affair straight down the line all three games. Yeah. Uh, none of them you could breathe easy for any stretch of time. It was like only one team had one big inning out of the full 27 right. innings that were played. And that was that eighth yep. inning in the game three yep. when Tech rang up four. Yep. So it was just, you know, and for both teams, it was just, you know, they're just having to scrap and fight for everything and nobody could separate from each other. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, there was no one team that dominated over the other. It was two evenly matched teams playing for huge, huge stakes. And, uh, you know, that all added up to about as classic baseball as you could ever hope to see right there. Yeah, I think the Cowboys really stepped up. I feel like Tech overall, even Tadlock said, which I was surprised to hear in the, in the in the post game after Game Three, that he felt like the better team won. And I do feel like Tech is a more talented team, Not marginally, but I, I do I feel like Tech was the overall better team. Oklahoma State really brought it. You know, they came to win. They weren't coming to to to, to have a good showing or anything. Like that. They expected to win, but Tech was able to fight fight them off. And that's been a common theme we uh, we've seen with Tech sports here recently is that. Uh, whether it be like Tech and Iowa State to 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 clinch that uh, share of the Big 12 title, where Iowa State, man, they man they they hit Tech in the mouth uh, to open that game, and they, you know it, they had every intention of winning. You know they expected to win, but Tech just in the end did what they had to do, and we saw that again Sunday this weekend. Josh Young stepping up with two big home runs Sunday. He had three for the series, five against Oklahoma State in six games this year. I mean, playing like Josh Young. Let's be honest, you know, like the All American he is. Uh, so you know. Uh, and then you look forward, now Texas Tech is going to their fourth College World Series in six seasons. They're playing a, another team they're familiar with, Michigan, another team that they swept here earlier this season. But look, man, the Wolverines, they beat uh, number one seed UCLA. So now Texas Tech's taking on the Wolverines, looking to uh, to beat them after sweeping them earlier this year. Do you see any uh, similarities to kind of like the psychological part like they had with, with Oklahoma State, or, or or is that, are we making more, too too much of that? Or am I uh, making too much of that? Well, uh, you know, at this point, I feel like I may want to kind of back off on that and consider <laughs> it what happened this last time around. Uh, but, you know, I think it's interesting that um, how Southern teams dominate college baseball. Well, they do. If, you, if you look at uh, oh, yeah. College World Series right now, if you count Texas Tech as a Southern team, which, you know, maybe you do, maybe you don't, uh, but if you do, then seven out of eight teams are Southern teams. Yeah. Okay? And this is not uh, all that weird of occurrence. It's like no, this regularly cool. happens yeah. in College World Series. So the best baseball, college baseball, is undoubtedly played down South. Warm weather. Yep. Right. And so you got Michigan, a Northern team, about as Northern yep. as you can get. And to me, that, that does uh, – raise some warning flags for those guys. I mean, they, they I mean, they haven't, they say iron sharpens iron. Well, Tech has been playing against iron. These Southern teams from the Southeast, the ACC, whatever, have been playing against iron all season long. And then Michigan, what have they been playing against? Maybe some copper. 
you know, uh, so and some lead. So, uh, you know, I, I think that just maybe from the, the standpoint of having played the tougher competition, uh, I believe Tech is probably more battle tested and particularly having gone through this war yeah. against Oklahoma State. I mean, you win that thing and you can feel like you can just do about anything. You know, it's like, hey, you know, uh, that, that's as tough as it's going to get. Yeah. So um, I feel okay about this, but I mean, look, they, they did bump off number one UCLA. Whether UCLA deserves that number one ranking or not, I don't know. Right. Uh, but that's still quite an accomplishment uh, for Michigan. So it's, it's not going to be easy, that's for sure. Yeah, and uh, there's a couple updates. I'll, this At the time of taping this, a couple personnel updates. Gabe Holt had surgery on that on that thumb. Uh, appears to be broken, or I don't know if it was ligament damage or he broke it, but bottom line is he, I, I, he's not going to be in the lineup. Maybe pinch running opportunities, but I don't know that for sure. I would assume he's probably not going to be available for the World Series. And that's a big loss. Your leadoff hitter, your right, right fielder, you know, he's, he's a draft pick. Uh, but, you know, by the Brewers, you know, that looks like maybe his, his days as, as a Red Raider are done, which is sad to say. And, but as far as your lineup, we saw it Sunday. I think they're just going to do what they did, where they move up and Dylan Noisy is your leadoff hitter. Everybody kind of moves up a spot. And then I, I don't know if, if Micah Dallas is going to start against Michigan. I assume he's going to. Uh, he's been the Friday starter for a while. He's 7-0. Freshman's just been amazing. He was great last Friday. Uh, so we'll have to see if, he's, if he starts uh, for their for their opening game in the College World Series against Michigan, which is 1 p.m. Saturday. So we'll just have to see uh, how it plays out, but uh, I'm excited to see what the Red Raiders can do, see if they can actually make some serious noise this time, their fourth trip, because de that's definitely the goal, and it has been the whole season, not just to get to the College World Series, which is a huge accomplishment, but to actually win the whole dang thing. So we'll, we'll see, Mata Joe. Great stuff from you as always. Thank you all for watching, and until next time.